What is 3DWI.Screen? 3DWI.Screen is a freeware screensaver. The full title is 3D Workers Island, but most of us prefer to use its file name instead, pronounced 3D Whisker. In 3D Workers Island, six characters interact on a tiny island with complex and unpredictable results. Every session tells a different story of the island. Many have found it to be compelling on levels both technical and emotional. T2's top software gave it a 10 out of 10 score and wrote about its characters. You will find yourself relating to them and understanding them. They may even confound you and anger you at times. The original source of the program is unknown. It was discovered at 3D Screensaver's Palace, one of many aggregates of screensaver programs appropriated from sources across the internet. The owner of that website, by his own admission, sourced it from a similar screensaver aggregate and could not recall which one. It has not been found. See the history page for history of 3D Whisker's discovery and spread as well as the development of this website. We recommend trying out 3D Whisker by yourself and downloading it from the download page. Okay. The 3D Whisker installer can be downloaded using any of the links below. It's 4.22 megabytes. Download. Okay. This is a Windows executable file and only compatible with Windows operating systems. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this then. 16 minutes left. Not too bad. Nice. It's done. All right, let's get this installed. This installation program will install 3D Workers Island. Thank you for installing my program. Press the next button to start the installation. You can press cancel if you do not want to install 3D Workers Island at this time. Okay. The installation of 3D Workers Island has been successfully completed. If you enjoy 3D Workers Island, please spread the word online. It would be much appreciated. Also consider reading the readme.txt file because it includes a lot of interesting and useful information about the screensaver. 3D Workers Island is an experimental 3D simulation screensaver for PCs with advanced worker simulation. Start after installation, right click desktop, choose properties, choose screensaver, choose 3D Workers Island on menu, click preview. Okay, to change settings, okay. Escape to quit, checkbox if enabled, only at the escape key will quit the program. Geometry quality, adjust the detail of 3D models. Simulation quality, adjust the worker simulation rate. Huh. Get to know the characters. There are six characters on the island. Their names are Amber, Holland, Pat, Joe, Grace, Rebecca. To find out who's who, reference the character card that appears on Startup. Worker simulation. Workers are an approach to computation. 3D Workers Island takes advantage of resources in the world. Welcome to the world in the computer. Okay, display properties, 3D Workers Island. Review. 3D work silent. At. Oh, this is the character introduction sequence. Rebecca. Joe. Amber. Holland. Grace. Look at him. He's watering the the flowers. There's Amber. Let's check the forums out. Ma girl. Hey, I just want to say this thing is so cool. My eyes are glued to it. I'm mesmerized. I just want to keep it on all day and see what the people are up to, but my brother needs a computer for his work. What do y'all think? What's happening on your island today? Mr. Crook. Yeah, it's a hidden gem of the internet. It kills the Johnny Cassaway thing my uncle thinks is so good. This is better because the people are like real people you're watching, and you never know what's going to happen next. I've seen dancing and squirming, the baffling games that play with objects, the awkward intimacy that looks like hugging sometimes, and other time looks... er... frankly? Bustard. Yeah, agreed. Holland just put her face inside a tree? point. I think it's great, but it's buggy and just weird. My roommate keeps talking about how he could do it better. I'd like to see him try. He couldn't even program the turret in our tank game last semester. What an idiot. Homer. 
My ma hates TV, but she tells me to put on the virtual people, and I put 3D WI on the projector, and she squints quietly in her recliner for hours. Peace for me. I like to keep it running in an alcove of my house and check up on it as I'm passing through. It's good for that. It can surprise you sometimes. The other day, I saw Joe take a remote-controlled helicopter out of the house and fly it around. I'd never seen that before. Earl Egger. I keep hearing the stories about this thing, but so far, it's boring. I don't get it. I want to know what you guys are doing because I'm just starting up the program and watching it and nothing is happening. The people are standing around, sitting around, looking around, walking around. They don't have faces, so I don't know what they're feeling or thinking. I don't know. What's going on here, guys? Oh, P. Lawler, the administrator. Which characters are you talking about? You know, some people have worked hard enough in their lives to deserve a rest already. No, but seriously, what do you mean? I see plenty of activity on the island. I do feel a twinge of annoyance when I see a character like Amber sitting around. I want to tell her, hey, you're young. Do something. Ned Hucker. Actually, it does become entertaining over time. You just have to keep watching. I think you'll be surprised by what you see. But you do have to be kind of open to it. You have to be cool. Be cool and things will be shown to you. Personally, I love this screensaver. It's so f***ed up. Let's check out 3D Cave 2. This program goes above and beyond its predecessor by generating its mysterious caves on the fly. 3D Cave 2 has you exploring an infinite realistic cave world and occasionally discovering surprising secrets and treasures. Real and spooky sound effects will make you wonder what's around the next corner. Keep watching for long enough and discover every treasure. What will you find? What will happen in this place? Requires a graphics accelerator with OpenGL support. 3D Workers Island. An island with people walking around on it. Here it is. 3D Screensaver's Palace. ThreeDWhisker.com. What is this strange screensaver you were stumbled upon? The only way to really understand 3D Whisker is to try it. It works best without words, but I'll give you my best overview. When you start 3D Workers Island, it will display its six characters in a helpful character card that gives you a name for each one. Afterward, you will be placed in front of an island, and you will remain mostly on that island until you decide to stop the program. The characters are powered by a kind of AI technology that the authors refer to as worker simulation. It is clear from simple observation that this text should not be taken lightly, but just how advanced this AI seems to be is an ambiguous and controversial question in the community. It is very much a matter of intuition at this point. At the very least, it's good enough to capture the imaginations of many. Whatever is happening under the hood, it is taxing to any PC. The program seems to be fluid in this way. It will use whatever resources are provided to it, but it can make do with just about any system that is capable of displaying 3D graphics. Impressive or not as technology, you will find that this is a program of broad and infinite possibilities. Since retiring last November, I have been keeping 3D Whisker running on all the desks in my study, in my bedroom, my living room, my kitchen, and my basement. All running around the clock as I do my household tasks and live my life. What I see in each of these PCs throughout the day is still continuously fresh and novel to me. It makes my home a very pleasant little world. You will notice that the island is quiet. 3D Whisker does not play audio unlike what you may find in the After Dark products and similar entertainment-based programs, but very much in line with the default package of screensavers in the window operating system such as 3D Maze and Mystify Your Mind. The significance of the silence is considerable. It allows the island to disappear. Despite its heft, it's also light. There is a sense of ghostly transience, and none of it is really happening. It can all vanish with the flick of a mouse. Frank Arper. This is for my son's island project for first grade, which took second place in the contest. I'm proud of him. Okay, I will admit he mostly played Pajama Sam while mom and I built the island. But he did the written part of the assignment himself. Anyway, here are the photos. Glad your son's school is teaching him about islands. Your living room is disgusting. Lol. P. Lawler, administrator. You did a good job with the island. I have some advice. You should not do your son's work for him. Do not let him get used to the idea that you will do his assignments. Take it from a fellow parent. 
Frank Arper. Thanks, appreciate it. But they were expecting parents to help with this one. You should see what the other kids brought in. Anyway, he did the written part as I said. My son doesn't like 3D Workers Island one bit. It scares him and it makes me turn it off. Kids are afraid of everything. My wife and I rented a tape of the Page Master to watch with her niece, and unfortunately we got to the moment where Macaulay Culkin's in the library and gets overtaken and drowned in the rivers of paint, and suddenly the tape went nuts and became unreadable. Her niece started screaming. Now she's afraid of getting drowned in paint and turned into a cartoon. I don't blame the people who made that movie for making a terrified Macaulay Culkin character get drowned in paint, but some kids really do think it's possible to get swallowed up into a cartoon prison where they can't escape. And hell, if I believe that, I'd be afraid too. Good kid. And user. This happened back in October. In detention, they had me sit in the computer lab where I was ostensibly wasn't allowed to play on the computers. Lol. My computer lab teacher was in their upgrading office and I showed him 3DWI and explained it to him. I swear, he was like enchanted by it. He wanted to install it on all the computers, so we installed it on all the computers together while eating donut holes. We had some problems and I had to call my sweet and angelic mommy to tell her why I was still at school, but we eventually got it working after 7pm. We turned off the lights and started going on every computer in the room. It was a powerful experience. Just all these different things happening on the island around us, on glowing screens. In the dark and silent computer lab at night, way better than 3D pipes. I felt like this is the way 3DWI was meant to be experienced. I recommend putting this on as many screens as you possibly can. Forgive me, I don't know anything, I'm just a 14 year old teenage kid. What were you in detention for? Lol, dress code violations mainly. I also invented a fake skin disease called Cutilla Cunai and I started incorporating it into some of my written assignments in English and history, even when it had nothing to do with anything. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me about Cutilla Kunai. I'm glad you asked. Cutilla Kunai. Skin disease with four stages. Stage zero, redness and sensitivity. Stage one, skin gaps, holes or gaps of various sizes exposing dermis. Stage two, skin islands. Widespread loss of epidermis, leaving only a number of skin islands of various sizes. Stage 3, recession of the islands, leading to complete loss of epidermis. Early stages can be treated in reverse, but stage 3 is irreversible. Stages 1, 2, and 3 are consistently rated 10 on the one attained pain scale. Screaming, and hair pulling, and despair? Joycey22100. Who's your favorite character? Amber. No question, Amber. Amber's the answer. If I had to choose a favorite, hmm, tough one. JK, it's Amber. F everyone else. I'm offended that the question's even being posed, but I understand you don't know any better. You're better off this way. Reality Priest. I know we're not supposed to talk about those topics here, but can we at least be honest when it comes to questions like this? I'm not going to pretend my favorite character is Holland or Grace or somebody else just so things can stay clean on this forum. Can somebody fill me in on the joke here? What's wrong with the other characters? P. Lawler, Administrator. Amber would be a good choice and may have been mine, but I am sometimes put off by her lazy tendencies. Naturally, I would choose Pat, since by coincidence we share a name. And I believe the two children are hers, another coincidence as I also have two daughters. However, I cannot help but feel attracted to Rebecca with her eye-catching red hair and shoes. It is a difficult question. GeoCities. Computer Philosophy 1. Windows. There are of windows. There are of windows everywhere we see them, and anyone can be looking in at you. That's a part of what makes them scary. But windows are even scarier when you're the one who looks in them, because when you never know what you'll see in them? Remember the enthusiasm in a market for Windows into Reality in 1996, as the Nintendo 64 broke once lower Project Reality. Of course, the TV screen is really a window into fiction and not reality. The only real window of reality is the one we looked into as a baby and still cannot turn from? 
What called the common story theme of falling into asphalt imagery? We bring the inside into the outside, and the outside is the place we are stuck looking. This is the only meaning of I'm trapped in the TV. When we find out that reality is the thing we look into, but what does it mean where we are? What happens when something bad you find responsible for is there and you do nothing to stop it because it looks through a window and is not real? I'm trapped in here and I may never return home. What do we mean? Wow, tell me more about that. Miss Toothface. So I was with my cousin last week for Thanksgiving. Since last year, they live a three hour drive away. It got late and he took me down a trail and scared the piss out of me talking about ghosts and murderers. In a quiet moment, I thought I might change the subject, so I started talking about 3WDI apropos of nothing. Turns out he knew about it, which caught me off guard. And he carried on with the exact same tone as when he was talking about torture killers a moment earlier, but now talking about 3DWI. As if telling me about a conspiracy or something, he went on about the girl in the pink shirt and gave me a long list of ominous things to pay attention to on the screensaver. Oh, he's one of the Amber shitheads. Those people basically took down that old Discovery Pages website a couple years ago. Ruined a good thing. Yeah? Anyway, when we got back, we watched 3WDI together until 2am on the slowest, crappiest computer in the world. We watched until suddenly the computer froze completely. But he told me it wasn't really frozen, that actually 3DWI does it on purpose in order to hide the things that are happening. I don't know. He was making things up on the spot. But I think they still meant something to him. Okay, so, I, I almost don't want to ask this at all, but, ugh. I keep hearing certain implications about the screensaver that I don't want to repeat here, but you probably know what I'm talking about. I think maybe it's supposed to be a joke, but if so, I don't find it funny at all. Can somebody give me more information about this? Sax player. Turn back now. Don't go any further. Stop. For your own peace of mind, stop this line of inquiry now and do something else. Don't become another one of us freaks. Reality priest. Seriously, I wish I could go back to enjoying this screensaver normally. I want to be a normal person again. Please, God, let me forget. Ned Hucker. There are links that can be provided. If you really want them, I can send them to your email. Just let me know. Cheer. I'm no coward. Here's the link. P. Lawler note. Link removed. Go ahead. Enjoy. Yeah, that's not going to last very long. Inside 3DWI.screen. The windows of my living room covering the walls, the wide views of my front and backyards fill the room with light during the day and an air of vulnerability during the night. My brother crashes here. He sleeps on the couch against the back windows. Sometimes we sit together looking out those windows and tell stories about the house beyond my backyard. A man lives in that house with his two sons. The curtains are closed and we imagine our own childhood replaying itself behind them. It's just a stupid game really, making up stories about the neighbor. I think of it as a way to bond over past experiences. Somehow we get emotional about it, but not emotional enough to do anything because of course it's a stupid game. There's no point in worrying about those children based on feelings and intuition alone. Still, we both find that our dreams become more vivid with time. Lately, we've grown exhausted of that game, but recently I downloaded 3D Workers Island. It plays on a PC in the corner of my living room. You should check out this program. It's a screensaver, which means it only starts when you aren't using your computer, but when it starts, you're on an island. There are people around, but they don't do much. Not when they're outside, anyway. Naturally, you wonder what they might be doing inside that windowless red house in the background. That's when things start to go wrong, when you start wondering that. And now we begin another game, as in life, concern begets more concern. The reality is always worse than you think it is. No matter how much you learn, it's always worse. And the only escape is to stop asking, to stop digging, to stop learning. This is your chance to stop. The preferred resource for all things 3D Workers Island is called 3D Whisker Discovery Pages, created and maintained by Pat Lawler. You should browse her website first if you haven't already because it's quite good. But Pat Lawler doesn't see what we see, or chooses not to. I've created a different kind of resource here. I take your sightings and display them for the benefits of others. Together we play this game the way it's meant to be played. Welcome to my website, Inside 3D Whisker.
Beyond here, themes of violent abuse and torture continue if you can handle that? P. Lawler, Administrator. I removed your link because it breaks the following rule. Rule 5. Do not post links to the website. You know the one. It is nothing more than a collection of perverted creative writing prompts. I would not usually be so strict about something like this, but clearly there are too many here who cannot stay reasonable and sane while discussing the content of this particular website, so I must make the hard decision on banning it. You can guess what I think about this topic, but let me try to explain the phenomenon occurring here. The fact is, many internet users are children and young adults, and children like to play games. What this means is you will occasionally find yourself unknowingly pulled into the games played by children. On the website, you will primarily find stories told by kids to scare other kids. You will also find so-called analysis of these stories that treats them as true fact to give them legitimacy, but there is no evidence to be found there. I hope I've cleared things up for you, buddy. Cheer. Shut up, Pat. Anyway, more links. Thank you, P. Lawler. Well said. Those violent stories are cheesy and over the top. Blood and guts. Believe me, I've been watching this program for so long I would have seen such things by now. Hmm. If the screensaver won't open up to you, then maybe you need to look within yourself to find the problem. You'd love to think it was all just bloody screaming children. Long before I began seeing the violent sh I saw the way Amber was treated by the other islanders. I saw her tiredness, I saw her subtle messages, but you just pointing at the bleeding children and left. Alright then. Why is it always Amber who gets a killed in these made-up scenarios? Don't get why this community has an obsession with torturing her specifically. You're all freaks and sociopaths is my best guess. Maybe I should create my own section for dealing with 3dwi.screen hoaxes. Snopes.com is a good system for these. True. False. Multiple truth values. Undetermined. Unclassable veracity. I would give every one of these stories the red sphere of falseness. False. 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 Why is it always Amber? Good question. People have a strange amount of concern for Amber. It's a mystery to me. Jesus f***ing Christ, that website. The screenshots and pictures on there are insane. Some of them are obviously straight out of Photoshop. Others I don't know. They're all low quality JPEGs for what it's worth. Makes it easy to hide flaws. Inside 3dwi.screen. Welcome to Inside 3dwi.screen. Here you'll find the content missing from P. Lawler's 3dwi.screen discovery pages. Her website should be your source for general information about the screensaver, but come back here when you're done. Pick a category in the left and browse our collection of user submitted sightings. Download 3D Whisker and let us know what you find by submitting a sighting. Thanks for visiting and telling us your stories. April 25th, 1999. I'm receiving so many emails about the Sam Ferraro business. Although there's not much contention in whether the screenshot of Amber's rare black shirt is real, there's a lot of disagreement about whether the picture on her shirt is really of Sam Ferraro. Since it doesn't exactly match any of the known publicly released photos of him, I expanded the section to include some of your comments. On the subject of photos, I've removed a user submitted photo from the PJR pin at the request of its original owner. April 24th. Added a link to Grace's guilt. Great quote. Lucky for that girl, her story became an urban legend. Most people don't believe it really happened, even if they are fascinated anyway. A perfect disappearing act. The real transforming into fiction. Now she lives her disgraceful retirement in the remote world of a cartoon, but reality will haunt her conscience forever? Added some more user submissions to worker degeneration. April 23rd. Added an avalanche of screenshots to strange faces. I can't believe people are walking to the bathroom at night and seeing these things. Making this website has convinced me never to run 3D Whisker after bedtime. Thank you, P. Lawler. No sounds, no faces. Wrong on both counts. April 21st. Falling behind on emails. Sorry, everybody, but pray for my brother because he's been having a hard time lately. He's in the hospital now. Sometimes you've been broken in ways that don't hit you until decades later. I expect my turn to come soon. When that day comes, my brother will be alive to support me. But for now, let's go. Inside 3D Whisker. PJR pin. The PJR pin of one of 3D Whisker's first popular sightings. The letters PJR stand for Pat, Joe, and Rebecca, three characters on the island. When these three adults approach Amber in the following formation facing her, it's called the PJR pin. Credit to P. Lawler for the icons. Amber is in the center of the formation. 
The PGR pin isn't complete unless all three adults are close enough to prevent Amber from moving, or in other words, to pin her in place. This is a very strict and specific requirement that is not met often. Formations in this particular shape are uncommon between any four characters. When they do form, they're spontaneous and brief. They'll usually reorganize themselves into more stable circles, or rather diamonds, like this. Why is the PGR pin significant? According to the stories, it triggers the following sequence of events. All four characters disappear instantaneously. The world is replaced with darkness? In that darkness appears a photograph of a child in clothes that resemble Amber's pink stripes. She's sometimes injured, sometimes not. An audio clip of a young woman's scream or multiple screams play from the speakers. It's usually interpreted as Amber's voice, but sometimes as the voice of an off-camera witness. The world reappears. Pat, Joe, Rebecca, and Amber reappear at the front door of the house one by one. Amber is the last to appear. No evidence of the event remains. Most accounts miss the first three steps in the sequence. It's only when they hear the screams that they start paying attention to what's happening on the screen. 3D Whisker doesn't officially play audio, but many stories report sounds. They usually describe very loud or very quiet sounds like screams or whispers with little in between. We have a page just for whisper-related sightings, mostly involving Amber's pleas for help. Much pride is taken in the skill of recognizing these whispers as quickly as possible since they often precede other events for which screenshots are desirable. No whispers precede the PJR pin, unfortunately. Photographs are also a common theme in these sightings. 3D Whisker appears to have a heavy preoccupation with the real world, and in particular, with real human bodies from living and healthy to mangled or emaciated or dead. In this case, even when Amber doesn't display any physical injuries, her transformation into a human body is often interpreted as an act of violence itself. In general, any movement between fiction and reality in either direction is treated with an undertone of horror. Descriptions of the photo vary. It may be that people are seeing the same photo and remembering it differently. It's not hard to believe that a disturbing and sudden scream is shocking people into seeing or remembering injuries that aren't there. But it's also possible that 3D Whisker is displaying different photos of the same girl at varying levels of injury, perhaps dependent on the context of the simulation. As Amber's plight has been shown to progress in severity over time, who is the girl in the picture? Until we have a legitimate screenshot, we have little to go on, and this one has proven challenging to capture. Jake the Mad Cow had quite a fright. He writes, I'm never running it overnight ever again. Holy sh! it woke me the f up. I've never been so scared in my entire life. I was asleep and then an ear splitting screen. What the f? P. Lawler lied to me. Her website says there's no sound in the screensaver. Well, guess what? There's sound, mother Ashley B. heard it too, and caught a look at something interesting. Ashley writes, Because it was the last thing I had ever expected to happen in 3D Whisker, I have to admit I was jolted and shaking for a good hour afterwards. I knew the discovery pages were wrong about other things, but somehow this one thing I trusted. And well, my volume was turned up quite high, so it was really something else. I only got the shortest glimpse at the screen before it reverted back to the status quo. It was dark, but I saw the dim shape of a human realistically proportioned, dressed in pink and white, like amber. A photograph, I think. It wasn't moving. Ah, it was bad. Oh my god, lol. I only laugh now. I'm done with the screensaver now, for real this time. I think it one scream repeated three or four times, or maybe it was more than one scream, and the image was a tasteless display of... <laughs> getting worse and worse. The more I watch, the more I notice, the more I understand. The more old it becomes with the things it shows me. Every time I come to see some new revelation, the screensaver shows me more. But most other people don't see these things. And if I have someone in the room with me, they don't happen. HTML maniac, are you telling me P. Lawler with the 10 billion hours she's been watching 3D Whisker hasn't seen any of these things? Getting dangerous in here, lol. Good kid. Banned user. Pat Lawler was a criminal. I have a family who used to live down the street from her. Nobody in their right mind would trust Pat Lawler. Lawler shouldn't be allowed to run a 3D Workers Island fan website. She should be in prison. Anyone who wants details is free to message me. I'm goodkid85 on AIM. Damn it, good kid. <laughs> and he's banned. That was fast. 
P. Lawler is always online. She reads every post the second you submit it. You cannot evade her. Inside 3D Whisker. Worker degeneration. Update on April 24th. I've decided to stop posting new submissions to this page. This is one of the most well-documented sightings and at this point I'm receiving most of redundant info. Thanks for everything you've sent in. Work here degeneration is something akin to injury or damage. This damage is associated with an active entity which 3D Whisker calls a worker. Hence the name of this page. It's not clear to me how this term came about. It wasn't invented by 3D Whisker's authors, yet it implies a bit of knowledge about the screensaver's internals that the injury is associated in some fundamental way with the underlying worker concept. This is especially strange since the only documented case of worker degeneration are tied to one character, that being Amber. Therefore, it seems premature to generalize this term to such an extent, but I'll use the established name. If you've ever seen a red Amber, you've seen worker degeneration. This is an early stage. After this comes compression, and the result looks like this. This red ball is seemingly inert, it doesn't move or interact with anything. Yes, the red ball is amber. This state has been interpreted as representing dehydration, malnutrition, and or mutilation, and the many photographic sightings seem to confirm all these interpretations equally. But most of all this become associated with small muffled screaming, and therefore with pain. It doesn't take long for this red ball to start shrinking and quieting down until sooner or later it can't be seen or heard anymore. Amber will usually respawn from the house after some time after compression, even while the red ball is still visible. The program will eventually continue as usual. Falling into asphalt tells us a story. Letting the screensaver go longer periods has unlocked something. Now I'm seeing all sorts of funny shit like a red amber. She goes in the house, comes out redder. Goes behind the house, comes back redder. Comes back redder again. Comes back weird and slow crawls around until pop. She's just a ball on the ground that everyone ignores and that's that. Nathan Manfield kept the screensaver running all day and writes, I went away for eight hours. When I got back, there's a bunch of red spheres scattered around making noise. Although it sounded like a chorus of dissonant humming. Now I'm wondering just how long my dog had to listen to that sh This one is from Thomas. How many of them are sitting at the bottom of the ocean? Just can't help but feel hopeless about everything. Nobody will ever help me out, and I'll never help myself. I'm too afraid to even reach out. I'm not even writing this right now. This message exists only in my head. This whole website exists only in my head. 3D Workers Island? What is this? Would I really put this online? Would I really give anyone the slightest glimpse into my world? This is fake. This is all fake. And nobody will ever see it. To Thomas, I hear you and I understand. Suffering in silence is such hard work. 